right, guys, I hope you guys are well and taking good care of yourselves. And thank you once again for following me uh, in these business ideas that I have for you. And I hope that they are starting to make you think and take steps to what you wish to accomplish. If you like everything that I'm giving you so far, please don't forget to sm smash the like button and also the subscription button so you can get more information in the future. Today, I'm gonna give you an idea. Once again, it's based on cars. As you can see where my mind is going, my mind is just churning right now. So should yours be. Are you aware that Uber drivers, rideshare drivers, and even taxis pay monthly or weekly for their vehicles? Those drivers who are able to buy a car pay far less than those who rent. Uber drivers who drive around Priuses pay around about 220 to 260 pounds a week for their vehicle. Uber drivers who drive around the Mercedes or the executive, I used to do executive myself, the price on rent is 330 pounds a week. So near enough 1,500. Yeah, 330, 350 a week. That's usually the price. Now, when you rent out the vehicle, you get not only is the car MOT insured, it has the PCO badge on it, right? Which only costs like 150 or 160 now. It may have gone up, I'm not too sure. Um, this is the PCO badge to say that the driver is a licensed like taxi driver, right? Not only do you have to have that, you have to have commercial insurance, commercial insurance, which covers the driver and their passengers, right? Um, and then you have to make sure the car is serviced. Now, if you were the type of person to buy a Prius from Toyota with your 1,000 to 2,000 pound deposit, your monthly outgoing is about 250 to 300 pounds. Toyota Prius. Your monthly is around 250 to 300 pounds, maybe 350, depending on how long you keep the finance for. And you can be renting out the car for the price that you pay monthly every week. So, if you want to go for the creme de la creme of ride shares and you want to invest in that, I would say get a black taxi. A black taxi you can charge between four to five hundred pounds a week. These guys make about three to four grand, roughly, give or take, if they do five days a week, make about three grand, three and a half a week. They can afford to pay you 500 and that 500 works out as two grand a month. If you have four Priuses, you'll be spending 1,000 pounds roughly, maybe one, two every month on four Priuses. You have to pay your deposits and everything else that I mentioned, but those four Priuses will bring in 4,000 pounds every month without fail. If you can do this, you can have yourself a fleet of cars making passive income without any of the liability of the driving going to you. This is an old idea. I didn't implement it before because I was, I'm into houses, right? And the difference between the house and the car, although you will generate more money with the car, it comes with more headache and the asset can be written off. You can have a, you know, the driver can have an accident and so on and so forth. Although there are solutions that you will face and acquire, right? But for me at the time, it wasn't really something I wish to do. But if you have the time and you're not into real estate and you wanna make money quick, because buying a house, the maximum you'll probably make in profit is about six, 700 pounds if you're investing outside London. If you're investing inside London, you'll make more money, right? However, there's a lot more 
initial payment from yourself in order to acquire the house. If you need to do any improvements, that too. And if you are going to do like a refinance to pull your money out, depending on how you bought it, it could be six months, nine months or two years. OK, at the very least that you can pull any money out. But with the cars, you'll get paid every week without fail by the drivers who wish to continue with these cars. You see. As vehicles get more expensive, less and less people are able to afford them. Less and less people who are driving want to put their hard earned cash into buying these frigging cars. So what you can do is you can rent it out to them. The fact that the prices are actually high, I told you 220 to 250 for a Prius. You can get five Priuses and charge 200 a month and everybody will come to you. You will never have a dry spell. Same thing with taxi drivers. If you do it at a reasonable price, your car should always be hired. And if your car is always hired, you're always making money. So you can go into the field of renting out your vehicles, making sure you have all the paperwork and vetting each driver correctly, and then sitting back and making passive income. There's a lot of money to be made when it comes to Uber, Lyft drivers and things like that. If you can provide them what they need at reasonable rates, they will stay loyal to you. Because those who are renting are unable to buy cars, maybe due to funds or credit rating. So you will have those people for a minimum of six months, which some of those contracts are anyway. Right. This idea can get you on the map pretty swiftly. And then you can use the money to buy even more cars and get them out there. It's very, very doable. If you can walk into Toyota today and ask them how much it is for Prius and they gave you the figures, you only have to do the PCO license once every six months. You have to do the MOT once every six months. You have to make sure that the tires and everything, like if you get brand new tires, they'll last at least six months, right? You be making money from day dot. And you don't have to do none of the driving. You will earn a percentage of what an Uber driver earns by providing them the vehicle. Constantly. Every week. Week in, week out. 